on guys got a question from framingham he's asking when it comes to thrift stores versus used bookstores how should you source differently what kind of techniques should you use in bookstores versus thrift stores and they're very different they're different beasts um there's gonna most likely at bookstores you're either gonna have a very very small selection of books where arbitrage opportunity exists because um, thrift stores are dirt cheap sometimes bookstores can get really pricey um, if you're in the south there's a chain of bookstores called mckay's what's going on christopher um and they're the huge bookstores and they're great to go to they're great to uh to to thrift from but the main difference you should be looking for is just the price so if you go in a bookstore you know check out the price if the prices are like five to ten bucks i mean there's still going to be arbitrage opportunity if you can sell a book for 20 30 50 bucks you can pick them up the first thing you want to do at used bookstores is go to the clearance section okay that's the first and foremost. Um, the next, another thing I like to do at, at bookstores is I like to look for the cheapest price. So let's say that I, if I find a book, the cheapest book in the bookstore is three dollars, I'm gonna go ahead. What's going on, Robert? And I'm gonna set my buy cost at three. Okay. With thrift stores, I do I do a similar thing. If the I at thrift stores I do the lowest price. I always set my buy cost at the lowest price. So best case scenario is what I'm thinking. You know what my triggers are going off best case scenario so the lowest price possible and then what i'm doing is let's say it says i can four dollars profit but the book is actually five dollars to buy i know it's not worth picking up so when you go to used bookstores um definitely go to the clearance section first definitely keep in mind all the prices and um really stick with like if the, if, if they're pricey if they're like over three or four bucks that's going to knock fiction out completely there's not going to be arbitrage opportunity with fiction um, so maybe stick with nonfiction. Always ask for like disposed inventory. I've been at so many used bookstores that they're throwing books out and like, you can just ask to go through them. Or sometimes they'll put books out front or something. So at used bookstores, clearance is the name of the game. Thrift stores, it's, it's more of a grind at thrift stores because there's probably more competition there. Just scan, 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 you know. Um, and you, there's fiction arbitrage opportunity at thrift stores, which is different from most used bookstores, it, there's not going to be fiction um, arbitrage because fiction books fly out. Still going? All right, we're still here. I just got a question. How do I check comments? Uh, oh. All right, I'm live again. Sorry, my phone's like overheating. It's 92 degrees outside. got to look at is what's going to keep your momentum going is you got to get your inventory up that's the most important thing so it's not necessarily like a week of thrifting or a week of not thrifting it's how much do you have in inventory because you should be turning about five percent each week so if you have a hundred books in inventory you should be selling at least five a week if you have a thousand you should be selling fifty if you have ten thousand you should be selling five hundred so get that. my phone keeps overheating um you guys hear me Sorry about this. But yeah, I mean, basically that's it when it comes to uh, used bookstores. I'm going to go ahead and end this live video. Just it keeps cutting off. Peace out, guys.